Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. And today we are going to uh, introduce our 1064 nanometers, one and spectral meters to you. And, uh, and uh, in this today's live broadcast, we are going to introduce some advantages and application of the 1064 Raman spectrometer. This PPT is uh, uh, prepared by the Fred Liu and translated by Fred Yaguan. So this serious live broadcast, we are going to explain from the following five parts. Part one is your traditional existing problems of 1364 and of the Raman spectrometers. Part two is the advantage of the 1064 nanometers the Raman spectrometers. And third, part three is the auto sky manufacturers 1064 Raman spectrometers. And in part four, we are going to introduce 1064 nanometers, the Raman spectrometers application. And in part five, we will make a brief introduction of our company. First, in first of all, is uh, we are going to introduce the Raman spectroscopic principle. This one is the Raman, who is an uh, Indian. Who is the Raman? He's called Raman. He's, uh, uh, he's in year 1928, he discovered the Raman phenomenon. And uh, everybody went to remember him, so named Raman. Uh, and in 1930, he received the Nobel Prize. So, first, the Raman, Raman discovered the Raman phenomenon, so we called are named by the named Raman. And this is the principle of the Raman spectroscopy. And this is the uh, really scattering. And, and this is the stock lines. And this is the anti stock lines. Red, because you can see, because due to the uh, energy transfer, when uh, Stock line and anti stock line happens. It, it has the energy levels transitions transit. So for this, we can uh, we can uh, use we can analyze the stock lines and anti stock lines to analyze the Raman phenomenon. Here uh, we use the long pass filter to filter the Rayleigh scattering and the lead stock lines to make an analysis. Traditionally, a uh, Raman spectrometer is made up of a uh, narrow line-wise laser and a uh, Raman probe and the spectrometers. The lines shoot on the uh, collimating lens and uh, focus on the focus lens and then shoot on the sample. The sample will generate scatter lines to refract it from this grating to these mirrors and uh, uh, pass through drone pass filters to, uh, call, to uh, assess into the spectrometers to make an analysis. So this is the traditional Raman spectrometers components. Uh, the most core component is the Raman is the spectrometer, and the second one is the laser. The laser, the third one is the probe. So whatever the Raman spectrometers housing looks like, and uh, they are mainly composed of these three components. Uh, we would like to introduce the Raman applications and core competition. Raman has mainly applied to six uh, applications, however, not only these six industries. 
uh, Raman spectrometers was widely applied to pharmaceutical industries. It used to uh, identify raw material and excipients and uh, also for, for drugs uh, scan for inspections for QAQC. And also very popular in the industry is public safety. It can use to detect the drugs and narcotics, narcotic drugs and detect toxic substances and uh, explosive and flammable materials. And third one is widely used to uh, gemstones. It can use to identify price of arranging of the germs and um, it can uh, identify, it can use to uh, identify anti-faking and uh, anti antique identification. They are also used widely in biomedicine, like uh, early detection of cancer and uh, uh, cal cal calculate analysis and uh, bacteria protein and disease detection center. And also, they are also in food safety to detect the pesticides, residues, and the food addictive and contaminants. It also used to uh, detect the refined gutter oil, which is uh, notorious, famed, notorious in China. And also, they are used in water quality contaminants analysis, petrol analysis, and deposit analysis. Uh, so, uh, Raman spectrometers has so much, so many applications. So, up to sky is the China national standard drafters for the Raman spectrometers. We have the most full range of Raman spectrometer covered from 266 to uh, 1064 to 1064 nanometers Raman spectrometers. So, and uh, we are also the exclude for 1064 nanometers, so we have the exclusive Raman spectrometer manufacturer in China. And uh, OptoSky launched the first uh, handheld Raman as early as 2016. And uh, in the, 20, the next year, we launched a dual band Raman spectrometer. We are one of the two manufacturers in the world till now can manufacture a dual band Raman spectrometer. And also this year, we are going to launch the three band Raman spectrometer. We will make a breakthrough in the world. And also our OptoSky performance is quite reliable. And we also have a, a release a quantitative algorithm to make us up to sky as a very professional, as an expert in Raman spectrum, spectrometers development. You can see that, uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, this is the alcoholic Raman signal. It has a big, it's like distinctive shape. It has distinctive shape. However, uh, beer, the main, the main component is also alcoholic, but from the spectrum, we cannot see any alcoholic signs. So why? With, when, why the, the alcoholic Raman signal is hidden? Oh, as we see that uh, beer is a biological materials. So it has a very uh, big fluorescence, fluorescence background. So these backgrounds could have uh, uh, interfered with the Raman signals. So we see that like a lotus just appears, just like a lotus just appeared one peak. So this is the uh, very common problems that Raman spectrum interface. 
that is, uh, is high fluorescence, but Raman signal has a hidden Raman signal. Raman signal is interfered by the fluorescence background. This is the fluorescence, and uh, the fluorescence signal is very tense. It's about millions of times stronger than Raman signal. And traditional Raman signals are easily interfered by the fluorescence. So we can see fluorescence signal is much higher than Raman signals. All right, so there are many materials that have high fluorescence, such as narcotics drug, heroin, and fentanyl, and the explosives. Uh, also, we have some biological samples have a high fluorescence like beers, and we have bacterial and pharmaceutical drugs also. Uh, about 20% pharmaceutical drugs have a, a pharma, have a back have a fluorescence and also have some fuel, petroleum, vegetable oils, and textiles, and the plastics and the color samples. These color samples also have a high fluorescence background. So Oh, whether well, well in 7332 or 785, these two, the single Raman signal is hidden by the fluorescence signal. But now we can introduce the 1064 nanometers Raman spectrometers. It can naturally resist the fluorescence. Near infrared, inf for infrared photon has low energy and it seldom has been absorbed by molecules. So the ground state electron is difficult to be excited to generate fluorescence. So as a result of 1064 nanometers, Raman spectrometers can resist fluorescence background. So uh, this a big fluorescence uh, had make uh, the Raman signals very weak. After using the 1064, 1064, the red one, you see the shift so distinctive, like the rotors can finally, uh, can finally flowered. So the Raman signals finally appears weather and also here is a peaks and this the here in the 785 nanometers ramen I don't have any uh, peaks at all so next we are going to introduce to how to remove the fluorescence background and as we know that uh, there are Many ways, there are, there are several ways to remove the fluorescence background. Here we are mainly introduce three, we make a, a comparison of the three uh, fluorescence, uh, fluorescence uh, analysis. Uh, first one is the baseline correction. A uh, baseline correction has been uh, integrated into our, our optoscribed Raman spectrometers. It just using algorithm can remove the fluorescence background, like this one. This is the fluorescence. And uh, after remove by algorithm, we use algorithm to remove this uh, back fluorescence signal. And this is we can appear uh, very nice uh, Raman signals. So, optoscope based eye corrections uh, looks nice, and uh, also, and also we have if we only have this signal, big, big fluorescence signals appears, and only signal peaks appears. Can use the baseline corrections to, to export elegant to export elegant Raman spectrum. Uh, Lots in some areas do not have uh, any peaks. 
if this have an, have not any peaks after baseline correction, and the peaks will also loss. So, so it has some disadvantages. Also, maybe yeah, this is sig signal noise very weak, and dynamic range is very small. So we know that the advantages of baseline correction is it just use the algorithm to make a curation to detect the background, the so, uh, fluorescence background. So it takes no, it's zero cost. However, the disadvantage is that uh, it can only those has the peaks where appears the peaks. Otherwise, if the peaks overlap by fluorescence, it will not have any peaks left. So it could cause the peak loss. And also we have mentioned signal intensity is weak and dynamic range is small. Next is the difference in the operation. Fluorescence background do not shift with different excitation frequency. So we just by using adjacent wavelengths such as 784.5 nanometer and 785.5 nanometer to excite your samples to obtain two group of the signals. Uh, by a different range the operation left only Raman spectrum. It, uh, this difference operations because the laser cost is rare is is not high, so its advantage is also is not cost high. However, it, like a baseline correction, it can also cause peak loss, and the uh, uh, resolution is low. And because uh, uh, after the uh, difference operation, the noise become bigger, and also uh, if uh, and also like this one, if this is, and like this one, if this shift is a, a left is short and right is high, after baseline, after difference operation, uh, the, uh, the, the shifts could be look like this way. So it will make the shift Curve, curve shapes uh, distorted and uh, and uh, look not so nice. So it's the advantage, it's the advantages. Uh, it will cause an evenly shift. And also it's uh, after different operations, it can cause the baseline is unstable and uh, can even cause the shake in a mess. Now we have to introduce 1064 nanometer Raman spectrometer, which in naturally, in nature mechanically can resist the fluorescence. How can it resist the fluorescence? Because it's in 1064 nanometer is near infrared photon, cannot be absorbed. So the fluorescence cannot be generated. If it resists the fluorescence generation. It's excellent to reduce the remove fluorescence. It has so many advantages. So why not uh, everybody use the 1064 nanometer Raman spectrometers? Because it also has some disadvantages. Firstly, it's a hard cost. You can see that uh, whatever 1064 nanometer Raman spectrometer is cost over up. It cost uh, in the market price about 5,000. It's about 50,000 US dollar. Why? Because you need to use the India as a sensor. It had to cool down to minus 20 degree to to, uh, to work on it. And also it can have generate a large power consumptions. And 1064 nanometers has a low frequencies and uh, it can, and it, so the dictate time is longer. Uh, 785 is uh, need only few seconds, but it takes uh, 30 to 40 seconds to uh, complete our test. Um, also, we have a time gate control methods too. 
to and and remove fluorescence. The principle is slightly custom fluorescence will be appeared in a nanoseconds and the Raman signal will be appeared in microseconds. So here there's a, a very short uh, time differences here. Time differences here. So we here we can install a shutter to uh, to remove the uh, to remove shuttle to remove the fluorescence and left the Raman signal. So, but the cost is because uh, it just the time is so short, so short. The nano nanoseconds and uh, microseconds. So the cost is at least. Uh, one million RMB. So it's very, very expensive. And the fluorescence, and also we have to introduce another method. This is photo bridging. Photo bridging is also can remove the fluorescence, but it takes at least half an hour to photo bridging to remove the fluorescence background. This we have already introduced before. So next, we are going to introduce the auto skies 1064 nanometers Raman spectrometer series. We have a seven, altogether we have a seven uh, models of the uh, Raman spectrometer series. First is the ATS6600. This is the most popular handheld Raman spectrometers. And uh, its performance is competitive with the portable one. And also we have a portable ATR Raman microscope and a portable ATS3000 and ATS3110. And also we have a dual band Raman spectrometer also install 1064 and the ATR 8000 U-band high throughput uh, Raman spectrometers. And we have a Raman microscope. This one can be uh, also installed U-band and tree band And next we will introduce more specifically about our handheld 1064 Raman spectrometers. ATR6600 uh, uh, is the, because the OptoSky is the exclusive manufacturer of this one to supply to China. And we have received CE certificate, we have the police certificate, and also this instrument has been uh, uh, nominated for the World Military Game for safety products. So, and also we can see the feature is 1064 can reduce fluorescence and it also has advanced algorithm and can detect a mixture, three mixture. And also we have the 5.5 inch touch screen, a very good screen. And we have a camera here. We have a camera, it's a 13 mega camera and you can scan back home and uh, and also you have a many multi modes like GPS, 4G, GSM, GPRS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It can build self-built library and uh, it can export report in format of PDF. CSV, TXT, and the battery can run over six hours and maybe longer is one day's operation is no problem at all. And it also has light weight, weighs 1.2 kilograms and easy to take to anywhere because it's, and it has the IP67. So we have uh, so many features to make this ATR6600 one of the most popular 1064 Raman spectrometers in the world. And not only uh, we have uh, so much uh, winner award this year, we also received a winner award for this one. 
and they are applied mainly to the police narcotic drug identification, like uh, uh, China's uh, heroin and fentanyl abuses. So it's very popular for many police stations. And also, we have a pharmaceutical drug uh, identified. So we are I, uh, 20 CFR 21 compliance, and we can uh, provide IQ, PQ, OQ compliance. Mm. Take uh, that is uh, it can dictate liquid, solid, powder, whatever uh, materials, substance states it can dictate. And also we have an ATR 3300. It's an autofocus RAM microscope. And uh, it's an uh, uh, autofocus RAM microscope. And this true focal. It's can mapping. This is one is the on the, the exclusive miniature RAM microscope with mapping functions. We are the only uh, miniature RAM spectrometers. And also because it has a five mega camera. So the image is cleared. And also we can have a 1060 for many references options including 1064, uh, A30, 785, 63030, and 532, and use USB 2.0 interface. It applies to uh, many industries. And um, also, this is our post for Raman Microscope. I have uh, so many wavelengths for your selections. For your selections, and uh, not to mention 1064. And also, we have three types. We have the uh, uh, the basic uh, type. We manual focus, and we have the auto focus, and we have the mapping functions. And uh, also, this is uh, we have introduced the Raman signal five mega imaging and real time. Real-time focus can dictate uneven samples. So it can real-time field for auto focus, even if it's an even sample, it can uh, images. And it have a, a move range is 50 to 50 hmm, micrometer, millimeters. And uh, we have a different uh, objective lens for your selections. And uh, uh, we have the high sensitivity Raman spectrometer use the uh, T vaccine CCD inside. And also we have the high, because it has no moving parts. So it's uh, quite reliable and uh, no need uh, calibration. It just uh, need to calibrate a time per year, can save many times of the operator. And it also sell to various environments, like lab, center. And this is our newly developed uh, human machine interface. This one is a, have a powerful functions we would like to introduce to you. Firstly, is the camera windows is here. And this is the picture's image spicing. It can spice image 50 to 50 to my, mi, mi, um, milli, millimeters. And uh, this is the spectrum display. And you can click here, click here to select spectrum and you will show shows in this area. And also we have a uh, this is Laman image, it will show the mapping here. And if you click each one, we will show the intensity differences. We can see if here intensity is stronger, so the concentration is uh, it's thicker, and this is uh, concentration is thinner. And also this area, we can show the uh, software is online or not, if the green, it indicates it's connected. If it's red, it's disconnected. And you also have the data, raw data, and spectrum data, deduct the dark current. And also, we have the dark current data. And these areas, we can 
uh, display peak peaks, different different peaks, intensity peaks, intensity. And uh, also we can show here material ID test results. So this new uh, human machine interface functions can apply to more applications. So uh, this is the ATR8300 applied to SARS, applied to SARS. And you can see this is the spectrum by adding the SARS. This is ATR3064 portable garment analyzer. It used the Android system and it has the is used so the, the, the whole operations is very smooth, just like uh, just like uh, using a um, cell phone. And also we have a bigger screen, uh, 11.6 inch touch screen, and the resolution is 11 uh, centimeters, and wavelength is 200 to 2600 centimeters. It has two stage TC quad. And excitation wavelength is, is optional. We have a, also 1064 here, and weights only about seven kilograms, and can put it can uh, bring to with your car. It's very popular, especially in China, sold quite a lot. Portable 1064 nanometer to run an analyzer. We can see this is a Quora effort effort drink spectrum, quarter effort drink spectrum. You can see this one is use the port uh, 1064 running spectrometer. So the signal noise is, is uh, very good. However, if you use 785, the signal noise weaker. And also we have our scientific uh, research 1064 running spectrometers. Uh, the weight uh, 5.2 kilograms and used the spectrum is also very good. So Raman spectrum has uh, applied to, uh, to detect narcotic drugs and uh, it can detect the liquid safety detector and a uh, uh, and a plastic drug, pharmaceutical drug dictator used to detect full safety and the gemstone identification and plastic dictator. And uh, this is uh, the fingerprint of Kasaraman spectrometer. It's the finger, fingerprint of the material. So it's very accurate. And it takes a few seconds, rapid. And uh, it just need to shoot a weak laser on a sample surface. So we call it non-detecting. And it is now involve any consumable accessory, just need charging. So it's costless. 1064 Raman spectrometers application, as we mentioned before, narcotic drug, pharmaceutic drugs, and also in full safety, gemstone identification and some lab texture archaeology center to apply to public safety as we see that in the cars if some if some passengers bring some explosive materials liquids to the car it will have a, a disaster so it's needed to identify explosive flammable and hazardous liquids in the entrance of the this in the entrance of the metro airport BRT concert sports stadium and large public places we can have a court and jail and uh, we have police and uh, firefighting is interesting. I can just uh, dictate TNT is six within seconds, uh, kerosene, kerosene, petrol, diesel, all these alcoholic uh, pesticide, all these materials are the regulated, prohibited uh, uh, by the by the transportation systems entrance. So if we can use the Raman spectrometer to identify this uh, passengers uh, readings uh, take the things we can 
no list result. And uh, this is the uh, narco drugs, narcotics uh, precursors. This is the uh, this is the police is the arrest uh, drug dealer. Just need to have a Raman here to identify. He know this is the drug dealer, and uh, and so he can in the field in the field criminal investigation. Also, if he want to go to the factory to check any illegal. Uh, uh, narcotic drugs. So you can for narcotic drug arrest are uh, for customs entry and exit. Customs entry and exit. So, so it cannot, it's illegal to uh, transit uh, uh, this uh, uh, narcotic drugs for the different before entering the uh, country. So customs an armed police border defense fire brigade and a court and jail. Oh, some people may be curious why court and jail also need to use the Raman spectrometer because uh, you know if some uh, border uh, people uh, will not uh, cannot be justified by the court decisions. The court judgments and they can uh, uh, they can. Uh, claim that if you, if you are, uh, we we can see suicide. We we can kill our. He can kill themselves. Uh, they can uh, threaten that if you uh, judge me to the jail, and we will kill myself here. So maybe he can bring down the 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 sand uh, pesticides if he bring to the court. So the court will be threatened. In order to uh, avoid the such threatenings in the uh, justice court, so it need to prohibit it, the, this uh, uh, pesticide or the uh, drugs into to the flowing access to the court and also in jail. Some criminals might uh, suicide in the jail by drinking some pesticides to make a threat to the to uh, guarders. So, and the fentanyl detect is a very popular fentanyl is the police issues in China. So we need to just a few seconds to fast detect fentanyl and we can have a few criminal check. And, uh, and also we have a narcotic drug arrest, customs, armed police and border defense. Raman spectrometers and has a material to analyze the application. And we have the police arrest drug dealers field. And we have a public safety. We can have some drug screening online. And we have some customs in some uh, customs and drugs liquid sampling test customers entry passenger fear inspection. And we have a call precursor greater jail. And we can have an inspect security inspect, jail entry security inspection in pesticide drug or explosives. And we have the event security inspect in the entrance and exit. And you measure high speed trend and the liquid inspect and all this uh, defense. We can have the chances to use the Raman spectrometer to identify hazardous uh, materials. And uh, it's the 1064 nanometers Raman for narcotics arrest, like a heroin and ice. This is the 1064. ATR6600 in the field to identify this, this um, we call it Magu, Magu spectrum. Because Magu is composed at least 5 to 7% of ice. If you use this 785, the spectrum is like this way, no peaks, no starman signal at all. So if you use the red 1064, 
So the red strip is very obvious. And also here, Ryan is also has no Raman single node by using the 785. If you can use the 1064, let it take the, uh, this the single node is very obvious. And also we can also have this Quora uh, dream spectra. We have uh, mentioned before 1064, uh, Quora ever drinks uh, single noise uh, very good, but uh, 785 has a uh, much weaker single noise. And uh, also 1064 nanometers ramen for narcotic detect, like a uh, hearing and fentanyl. And this is the hearing and fentanyl. This is the different category, different types of fentanyl. And you can see it have a uh, each uh, each uh, types of fentanyl have its vivid uh, uh, single notes like uh, and this one, this vivid uh, single notes like uh, um, this one, like uh, this one, this one, and also. This one is different. Hmm. And maybe this one. So this vivid peak can tell the differences of the uh, different fentanyl. 1064 nanometers can detect spectrums. The above spectrums can be detected by the ATR3064. So this is used our first generation software ATR3064 to detect the result. And now we have uh, upgraded to third generation and performance is uh, higher and signal to noise ratios have been greatly improved about three times and the Raman spectrometers has been used to pharmaceutical. We have known that uh, uh, for the pharmaceutical uh, product, drug production safety, we, uh, for the purchase and production should be 100% authentic. And the FDA requires the raw materials and CPNs 100% factory in space. So Raman spectrometer are selected for this uh, convenience, fast, accurate detect result and compared to with the IR, FTIR and the liquid chromatogram and also European pharma, 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 Cupid and use handheld ramen introduced in 2016 April, also as PAT. And this is China pharma, pharma Cupid. Our introduction is published in this year. So compared to before, our China pharma, our China pharma Cupid has 10 times more pages and for the Raman spectroscopy application. You see that uh, in China, CGMT, we, uh, in article uh, 106, all raw material and CPNs should receive 100% inspection. And in article 1100, yeah, 110, ensure every package of more material should be 100% authentic. And also in European and US pharmacopians also perform more strict regulation for this pharmaceutical drug and QAQC in spec. Raman spectrometers advantages. 
are there are three types of the technologies useful. They take uh, raw material and excipients. They are HP LC. So HP LC efficiency to high. Usually in pharmaceutical factories, there's a light, still lights of the uh, uh, HP LC and uh, workers uh, work to identify material raw material recipient and also FTIR is also used to identify the and uh, but and also we introduce Raman spectrometers for um, accurate and faster so we can see the introduced sound advantage of the handheld Raman is low cost. Raman spectrometer costs less. It has no sample preparation, so it's durable to use. And its size is smart, handheld, it's easy to operate. And it's only a few hundreds of grams. And also it's no sample preparation. And its accuracy is stable. Just the fingerprint of the material is very accurate. And and uh, no influence by water vapor, vapor, vapor. And sample states can use in solid, liquid, powder, and organic and organic. And also dictate time, so fast. Take a few seconds and decades of seconds. So it's a search fast. So only six advantages has made the Raman spectrometers a, a priority options for the uh, raw material and excipients detection. And also we use the pharmaceutical industries of 1064 Raman spectrometers, such as we use the uh, Pfizer T2 784 and 1064 to identify the answer answer timing ta, answer and uh, we can see that uh, compared to the compared to 532 and 785 the signal of the 1064 1064 has the most distinct shape so Raman spectrum can know material structure and ingredients and the function group. So they are Raman spectrum of the material and they are easy to detect and distinguish different pharmaceutical ingredients. We can see that uh, uh, this is the cap capsule uh, glucose, glucose caps capsule. This is the sugar coating inside capsule. And we can see the spectrum 785 have a big uh, fluorescence background. If you used, uh, uh, this is no peak. If you use 1064, the peaks appears in these areas. And so 785 Raman spectra shifts is hidden by strong fluorescence. It cannot tell the material. It can be uh, caused uh, uh, some some mixtures of the RS material. However, if used with 1064, can fluorescence resist. So it has distinct shapes. Can identify, yeah, this is glucose big peaks. So, and also we have used a different 1064 Raman to dictate pharmaceutical drugs. Oh, this is sorbitol benzonet and centers like this. And also I can compare the 1064 nanometers versus 785 nanometers Raman spectrum, like a, a ami, amino salicylic acid. You can see uh, 785 no peak, no Raman signal. However, 1064 has a uh, distinct shift. And also lysine, uh, no Raman signal, so 785. Uh, 1064 has distinct shift. And your uh, GIVA writing, uh, 785, no Raman signal. And 1064 has a nice spectrum. And um, 
Miban Dazzle 785, no Raman signal, and 1064 has a, a distinct shape. And the Omnipresent 785, no Raman signal, and 1064 has a, a very nice Raman signal. And salicylic acid, no Raman signal, 785, 1064 has Raman signal. And the Omnipresent uh, on, on me, on me thing, the hydrochloride. So the 785 has some Raman signal, but it's weak. You can see this peaks very weak. So very weak signals. And also we have a C-Crop-Perox Aramine, c crop 785, no Raman signal, and 1064 had a Raman signal. And 1064 versus 785 Raman spectrum make a comparison. We can know through, through Kranazol and a salicylic acid lysine. This is spectrum. Mm, 1064, next we are going to introduce the 1064 Raman system used to detect a pesticide. Pesticides used in agriculture to prevent disease and regulate the plant growth, forest and farming, environment and farming disease and make a preparation, prevention. And the industry products like mildew and moss proof. There are many categories of pesticides like uh, uh, insects, insects, insecticides, acaricides, and uh, rodenticides, and uh, mineralicides, and uh, mol uh, mol mol molecules, and uh, fungicides. Herby size and prong growth regulators. So they are not only provide full safety for pesticide residue and additive for jail, for jail and pesticide counterfeit if some places use the counterfeit pesticides risk it to a plant growth. So we can identify the fake the inferior and the agriculture and forest and also used to a military backup and a big event got guaranteed. 1064 nanometer used to detect pesticide only system. As in our according to our experience, most pesticides cannot have a Raman signals by using 785. So it's needed to use 1064. Raman spectrometers, you can see paracrot, no Raman signal, 75. 1064 has Raman signal. And etosazole, 75, no Raman signal. 1064 has Raman signal. And also, uh, we have a microbutanol. Microbutanol 75, no Raman signal, and RS half. And also we have a glyphosate. Glyphosate has some Raman signal, but signal is weak. The weak, 1064 is better. And also we have a, a 1064 Raman spectrometer using the agriculture for the a uh, glyphosate, no Raman signal node. And uh, 1064 had a Raman signal node. And a uh, period pro proxyphen, 75, no Raman signal node. 1064 had Raman signal node. And uh, also we have the amber mectin, 75, no Raman signal node. 1064 had a Raman signal node. And also spin rodding, uh, spin rodding. Rothen, 75, no Raman signal node. 1064 had a Raman signal node. 
and uh, this is the plastic ingredients. Plastic ingredients. So you can see that C variety five the peaks is almost hidden by the fluorescence. You search ten sixty four the peaks appears. And uh, also used to identify plastic, this peak is very weak. And uh, use 1064 peaks appears. And also this one, the peaks is so not so good. If you use the 1064, running peaks very nice. And uh, these two, EAV, EVA, and ABS, Plastics looks very similar, but quality different, prices different. So it's needed to use the uh, Raman spectrometer to identify. So singleness is a sound peaks loss. Yeah. And uh, if you use the, uh, by using 70, Shifts are very similar. It cannot, these two is very similar. And, uh, and also if you use the 1064, you can see very big differences of the peak. So these two material can identify by the 1064 ramen. And also some are uh, dyes, stuffs, and uh, pigeons, the the fluorescence is very big. So in like color powder, bound, bright rock, preservatives, raw candy, honey, bio, most pigment have fluorescence. So they identify difficult to identify. It. And 1064 can uh, have a vivid peak. 1064 ramen applied to dictate fabric. This is the textile fabric. It's better, why? Um, polyester fibers we dye. So the blue one is the 1064 is much better. So this 75 no single noise. And also 1064 Raman spectrometer used biological samples. This is the embryo, the metabolism. You can see the uh, 1064, the peaks is uh, nice. So that's it. And uh, next we are going to make a brief introduction of the auto sky. Optosky locates in these areas in the high-tech scientific research park. And we, we are in the seventh floor. One, two, three, four, five, seven here. We are in here and the areas cover the 2,500 square meters. And Optosky has 20 years developing spectrometers experience. We are the number one Raman spectrometer manufacturer in China. And uh, we have uh, uh, developed a worldwide channels to sell Raman spectrometers. And, uh, and we are the high tech, high tech companies in China. And we are a national standard drafter. And also opto sky means opto and sky. And uh, the logo springing indicates low bars, marching, shining, and freedom. Upper orange indicates passion and innovation. Lower blue colors indicate stability and reliability. And uh, this is the high technology ident certificate. And our headquarters in Xiamen, Hangzhou, focus on manufacturing hyperspectral camera. And we also have Xi'an, Beijing. 
And this is the national standard drafter, China national standard drafter for Raman spectrometer. We are the hazardous material detector based on Raman spectroscopy. And also we have a drafter of a boil type monitor of eco environment. And we use the, have a China national standard for online water quality monitor by spectroscopy. And we have China national standard drafter for water quality man monitor in unmanned um, bowl. And we are national, we are China national standard drafter for UV absorbent major fabrics. And this is the company certificate and patents. We have an ISO CE rose LVD, and we have this certificate. We have received IP standard certificate, and we have 20 patents for innovation, 32 patents for new utility design. We have 32 software copyright, and this is our honor awards. Okay, thank you. Welcome to questions, and we will end today's live broadcast. Thank you.